Kaping ngon ba mother bango? Waro jara. Waro madu bro jara. Palo jang kawan lo. Chut mo ko jor lo. Chut mo ko jor ko jor le ano. Jor le ano mala ko ala ding. Kapi jingo kapi ng derba mo waro jara. Ule waro palo jor le ano mala ding. Mala. Waro le ano yon jo meron ni. Ini ni balo kujar, kujar ini ni warungar. Kena sebut lupa. Aku lah sejarah nafaya, warming up, kacat. We just mad need to say she said to be listened to me and dog dreamy they caught it yeah. Belong to an old two two nangalas and one chungara, yeah. This old fella here he he got up, he took off, he went east. After two lady came back and saw, hey what that on? We made a windbreak for him. That person turned into Brindy. And he Went in the ground. That's why Puli Nana is a Nanga Nyura. You're right, Junuta. Two old ladies still here. They're just seeing the stage sights out here. Hey, was empty. No people looking to. Kids used to go on a big tree and win break in the school. I remember a long time ago. Palo Real Dab. Clinic is a long time ago. Clinic is a long time ago. I have a lot of clinic in the Palo Real Dab. I go far. So I was working in Kinto. Kinto. I'll spend to be working mal in my knees. In a radio, Jalamila, Manga, the book, I'm waiting in the Jalamila, Jalamila, Murga track, and I'm right back in the village book. In a village, my young village, vehicle, young village, no to the regular young way. Now, today is big, big salmon lab, Kinto, and big people now, big map. The board of directors here at the PDB Homelands Health Service got themselves involved, I think, uh, around 2009 in trying to figure out a way in which to improve the community. And it all came back to social and emotional well-being. So they came to the Land Council, they said, uh, could, could you help us or, you know, how do we start a ranger team in Kintour? Jane Blackwood and I went to the Pindaby Homelands Health Service and spoke to the board about doing firework here. We said maybe you'd like to get some practice at working in land management and become part of that. Uh, James has been working consistently at Kintour since doing consultations with family groups and groups for different parts of country around the Kintour region. Jane was this plan all just good plan and, uh, and we start um, me nakamara ipura nangala na pananga ipun de long way we making me ipura way paya big paya. The way they invited CLC, that's that's sort of very says a lot about Kintour as a community. It really says, shows what they're like, like they're gutsy, they already know what they want. I didn't know much or understand much language or even understand how things worked. It's only looking back now that I realised that they were teaching me all along. And the hunting, the hunting and the fire it took me a long time to realise that that was going to happen all the time. You know, that we, every time we, burnt, we were going to go hunting at first, I just thought, oh yeah, people are just going to go hunting for a while. <laughs> no, we did that every time. 
Ruby Lee's an amazing bushwoman. We were driving along a southern road and she just looked over and she went, go down there, I see a track. You can't see the tracks that they see. <laughs> They're they doing it, they doing it fire, they miss someone, they can make him fire, oh, this here. If someone ends up in road, that's what they make a big push for. Just like you're sending, just like you're talking on the phone. Talking about my grandfather's dreaming. Morris Gibson, back in uh, Kintore, he never let up on me. Every time he saw me, he was like, when are you going to take me to my country? Like, when are you going to take me to my country? I've been... Uh spreading the work right wide across the Kintore region and that's culminated in, in this trip to, to Mantardi which is actually in Western Australia. It met the, the joint management, the, the bringing of families together and it also got Morris and Sam George and other people who'd been sort of waiting for their turn to have a burning trip to get back out on the country. Well, I might come fri every Friday here. This is plain country, this is on plain country. Not now, it's a cross, keep it away. You know, and you can make them fire now. This one, I used to leave this house here. That's why we're burning our country, grandfather's countryside. Like we're burning winter time so we can come summertime. See the country fresh then. Place and you, you can't come out from there. Watch out, you might fall down inside the scope of court. No, come back, you. You'll be drained, pass away. Good house. We look happy. We're looking well. 
we're looking around, and so we respect grandfather and grandmother. That Kunga will come this way. And you sit down here, and he went through this one here. This one here. This is the track. This is the track. You can see all this grass, you know, this line here. You bring kangaroo. You bring him from here, from that way, from that way. You bring him to here. You can see this one here. Chukurba, Ngaja. Chukurba. This it is. Respect. Respect my grandfather. Respect to my mother. And respect all my family. That's why I come for this one. What I'm always fascinated with is people's connection to country, knowledge of country, um, and the way that information is always passed down. Even if people haven't visited places, they still know about them through the stories that are told on the community. And the trip, a trip like this has given us the opportunity to, to go and visit those places because a lot of them are quite remote. Uh, and people who, who are even unhealthy in Kintor, when they go out bush, they just come alive. It's just a, a whole different atmosphere. It's like something inside of them just becomes unlocked when we go to aged care. And I'm always a bit worried, you know, like we take out their very old clients and clients that need quite a lot of individual medication. And, and they're always really, really happy for us to take um, their patients out because they said when you bring them back, the, that trip out to country for them just, it just makes all the difference. I seen their grandparents' country, like grandfather's or grandmother's country. I'll show you. And they come back and they happy. Their soul is happy. Spirit is lifted up. We love to listen. We got love to keep uh, rolling the story, all that the story keep going for other, other generations, young people to come. The project's been very timely in that we've had record rainfall in Central Australia for the past year, and particularly this Kintore region, and there's a real need to do fire management out here at the moment. And I think what we've done here over the last three years uh, sets the community up fairly well for having a great landscape fire management program. They've got the tools, the energy, they know the process. They know how we do it fairly, like we roll around all the different homelands. I have no doubt though uh, that, you know, in the very near future that Kintour will be supported by funding because of all the positive energy they've put into and the great success they've made of this fire project. People will want to invest in them. Making wire. Well, no, you can make buy na. When come back, all the people to Mandati, like this one.